Hello! That's a brand new video we are filming today and we are going to talk about the amazing video editing app for your phone and your iPad called Vila. Hi, what's up? If you are new to my channel, my name is Justine Lamer. Here on YouTube, I love to talk about design, editing tutorials, showing you how to use certain apps. Today, this is one of these videos because I am going to show you how to use a Velo on your phone. Okay, so to follow along with me in this video today, you will need your phone and you will also need to go into the App Store if you haven't already done it, if you already have the app Velo great, you are already halfway there. However, if you are totally new, that you're just uh, curious about the Velo app, well, I invite you to download the app into the App Store or into Google Play. Obviously, you can download it for free and then using the app, Velo is a subscription app. So if you want to use all the features the app is offering, you will need to either get their monthly subscription or get the lifetime app. Let me look at at how much per month Velo is. So here I am into the App Store, okay? I search for Velo. So it says Velo, uh, video editor and maker, vlog with music, test mosaic, great, great, great. It gives you some preview of the things that you can do. Velo subscription. Velo Premium is available as a lifetime subscription or monthly subscription packages. The lifetime subscription is a one-time charge that allows you to use all functions without paying any additional fees. The monthly subscription gets renewed automatically if you do not cancel within 24 hours of the monthly renewal date. So the monthly price is $3.99 and the annual price is $7.99. They don't even tell you the lifetime price. When I bought it lifetime, I think I bought it like $10, but I've got previous comment on my other videos about Velo saying, oh, now it's $9.99, now it's $20, now I don't even know. So it, it says they don't tell. So if you guys know uh, how much is a Velo, the lifetime um, subscription, let me know in the comment down below. So it's up to you if you want to buy the app or not. I do recommend buying it uh, for life just because if you love editing any kind of videos for YouTube, your reels, Velo is really nice. And if you want to do it on your phone or on your iPad, as I said, it's really convenient. But in this video, I am going to use the pro version. There's something that you cannot do is only because you have the free version. Let's get right into the app and let me show you everything that you can do with Velo on your phone. Okay, let's get started. Let me record my screen. So you open the app and here you will have your project. So this is all the videos you've edited on your phone. If you want to start creating a video, as it says over here, it says create video. So this is what we're gonna do. So you're going to click on create a video. From here, you will have videos. Let me select it quick. Okay, I selected 10 videos. Now I'm going to go into that a red arrow and here you can choose the size of your videos and you can rename your videos so I'm going to rename real I want my video to be 916 uh, because that's the ratio of an Instagram story or you can do Y by 1 you can do 16 by 9 which is YouTube and other kind of movies you can tell okay I want my video to fit or I want my video to fill the entire screen or I want my video to be put in the center and let it emerge around um, my videos. All the time I'm using the fill option because I want my video to just fill the entire uh, frame. From there, create your project. So Velo is going to bring your videos right into their app. We have our file, we have our videos. As you can tell, I'm just scrolling and you can see some really nice uh, videos. So right now my video is at 58 seconds. I have only the option to make 30 seconds real, so I need to make this video 30 seconds. To do so, I will have to split, I will have to do a couple of other things. So the first thing I want to show you is the space. So if you click on that plus here, you can add some videos, you can add like a blank scene, so like just like a, and here,
here you have a black thing at the middle so you can add an image on the top if you are, would like to delete it click on it and click delete then you also have this and so you can take a video hold it and move it so it changes what video goes after the other the order it changes the other other videos bgm it's uh your music the sound effect that's the sound effect pretty self-explanatory um voices you can do a voiceover over your video you can add motion stickers frame template text label caption image gif video filter adjustment and mosaic so we're going to go into each one of those um, while we are editing this video also on the bottom of the screen you can see audio sticker text pip and filter and so if you click on text it's going to bring you where there is the text double and caption if you click on filter it's going to bring you where there is filter adjustment and mosaic it's easier for you to get right where you want to be while editing your video all right so the first thing i want to show you is that since i'm going to make a reel i don't really want to have a background noise so if i do this I don't want to hear that i just want simple music or i want this sound to be really low so for now what we're going to do is that we're going to click on each single one of those and i'm going to mute the sound so here as you can see between animation and volume you have um mute so i'm going to mute my clips okay if you want to see a little bit more of your video take your two fingers and you know zoom in so you can zoom through the video so you have more space to cut at the exact moment split it i mean or just go back like um with your finger and zoom and so you can see uh, your entire video at the same space but same space okay okay so from here the first thing i do every time i am having a video is looking at it and be like okay well i like this i don't like that i like this i don't like that so what i'm gonna do i am zooming in so i'm gonna click on that clip and i'm going to split it so here i split it the clip in two great i'm going to do the same thing with that so that's the split option Next on our beautiful Velo app, we have the BGM, which is basically your music. So let's say you want to add some music to your video. Um, you can have access to your own music from your phone, from items or from your music but i do love to use below music so you can simply choose whatever um music you want you have daily vlog so let's do vlog and one of my favorite into vlog is like the chills music like chilling 2 chilling 10 so let's do chilling 10 so you have to download it does in my other youtube videos Okay, you like it? Then, uh, since we want the video, the music start right away here. This means that in between that error here and the first uh, slice of music, that means that there is no sound, so you don't want that. So we're gonna split and click on the first clip and delete it. Then we're gonna take our music and see this arrow there that I'm touching? Well, this is to um, move the sound. So I'm gonna move the sound to the beginning of the video, so now when I'm gonna click on play the music is gonna play as well as the video let's go great this is exactly what you want next we are going to add some text let's add some text so we're going to add some text and we're going to say they are animal kingdom or whatever you can choose from some already made text but you can basically change the fonts and everything else so let's use for example uh, this one and so you double click on it and you will be able to write your own text so and here i'm like uh, the font is like eh. it's just like okay so i'm gonna change the font and you have a um, couple of font already uh, into the app all right so let's choose a font you have some arrows so here this is to rotate the text you can obviously um move it with your finger and here it's to make it bigger or uh, smaller click on the text and then do into style and into style you can also change it you can also change only one letter at the time here i make it this color you can have gradient but you can have pattern so i want my a to be a water i want this a to be this one each letter is uh, customizable you can also do an outline so here i um only do the end but if i want to do all of them i just select all of the letters you can also change on uh, the way of the shadow and how blur it is and the color of that shadow you can also add a background anyways this is so customizable guys now that you know everything about 
text it's my it might be time to tell you how to move that text anywhere you want on your video timeline here is your text okay that is when you can touch it and move it anywhere on your screen but if you don't want actually animal kingdom to pop up here but you want it to put it later you do like the sound you just use those two arrows and move it wherever you want so when the video starts here it says animal kingdom however i do not want my title to come this way so i'm going to click on it and here it says animation and so you have in so when the text come in into your video tons of different effects that you can uh, walk with I will do the blur one uh, and then when it goes out I will do the unfold and then uh, if you go on animation and you do overall that means that your text will for example it says shake so the entire time it will shake also if you wanted your title to be entire video you have this arrow over here so that I change where your text is going to be on your video but here is how long it is if you um, go all the way to the end of your clips well the this animal kingdom will stay the entire time okay so now we're going to add some sound effects so here this uh, red line it tells you where you are in your video you, you want to be before this text and then go into audio go into sound effect and i usually stays into velo sound effects so here i will go into live sound and so here the sound is at the same level that the text so now let's see there you go. So it popped, wait, my text pop. This is how you add a sound effect. Let's add a cute motion stickers. Motion stickers are my favorite into the Velo app. So if you go into motion stickers, you have tons of different stickers. So that's the new one that you can get. Those are cute. You have some of those stickers that are moving, some that staying like this. Those, for example, are moving. So let's say you want to say subscribe to my channel so you can add Prime. There you go. And once again, you can do the same as the text and the music, put it wherever you want in your video, make it bigger, make it smaller, move it around. And uh, I'm going to put it, for example, here. And same, I'm going to add a sound effect to it. So let's say I want some um, bong. Okay, perfect. We're going to use this one. So let's see how it goes. There you go. Just know that every single effect text stickers whatever you're putting in there you can always change the animation of it we are going to add a frame so here are the frames you have our new ones again so that's pretty nice try one of those so for example i want to try this one so if you click on it multiple times it will change the size so for example imagine it was a youtube video you want that uh, landscape otherwise uh, this way works well so let's do it um this way you can obviously resize um like you do usually rotate so you have different color on that one otherwise you cannot really change it then we have the template so click on template and here you have water fire fireworks like tons of different cute templates that you can add so that is really fun all right guys i love to keep a video short and sweet so i'm going to try to go a little bit faster on the last different things that you can do uh, in velo on your phone so you have also some label you can add captions so this is part of the text options so label it's like cute stickers where you can add a uh, really nice animation on it so for example here are new things that you can add so um, you can put your instagram and all on each one of your videos using this one so you just click on it like the text you will double click and you will add your instagram and all so yeah you have different kind of label Th those are like a social media one so you have youtube facebook instagram tiktok some gmail and after you have like different kind of cuteness like this little cat then you have captions so those are the new captions that they added i often use caption to uh, say a very important information on my videos i usually use this one you double type it. i'll put whatever you want and then uh you know 
leave it as long as you want it's just like a nice background then you have image so I mean as it says you can just add an image randomly into your video and you can also blend it to um, make it like it's a part of the video I don't know you can you can work some stuff out then uh, as it says you can add a gift so I have a couple of my gifts over there so you can add any gifts on the video you can add a video over the video so if you want to show off something else in the video like I'm doing right now uh, you can so you just put it in a corner resize it and here it goes yes. easy peasy all right guys I tried to show you as much as I could in a little video I don't want my videos to be too long for you to really enjoy and not spend 25 minutes on uh, this video so if you want more like a complete deep tutorial on a video please let me know if you really enjoyed really knowing what I am doing on the app and how to use uh, chroma key correctly or how you to blur some part of your video like more of the things there's so much more that you can do I just don't want to make it too much for you at the time anyways you guys thank you so so much for watching today's video if you like it and you learn something today please uh, don't forget to uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel to never miss any of my future uploads because I love talking about apps and showing you how to use them. Have a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.